Today we're putting a spotlight on sardines. We're talking commodities now, you know, that canned fish variety. Well, it is widely consumed in Nigeria, but recently the price of a can of sardines has surged by 60% to 800 naira, with some stores selling as high as 900 naira. That's almost a dollar. Uh, let's bring in Victoria Momo, analyst with Financial Derivatives Company, to break it down for us why sardines may soon disappear from our daily consumption. Hi, Victoria. We know inflation is, is in a mix somewhere, but what are the factors are contributing to this rapid price increase? Um, hello, Will. Good afternoon, and thank you for having me. So, uh, like you rightly said, sardine, which, you know, was one of the favorite um, canned, you know, fish variety, is slowly phasing out of the tables of many Nigerian homes. And um, I know it's not supposed to be surprising that prices are currently rising across, you know, various food baskets and, you know, various commodities. But we've seen the same um, increase in price actually play out in um, um, the price of sardines. So basically, the reason why this price of this price of sardines actually sold by 60% was um, basically due to foreign exchange scarcity as well as the narrow depreciation and this is because you know almost all, all the settings that are actually um, consumed here in Nigeria are are imported into the country. And you know, it's no news that the country is currently battling with the issue of um, exchange rates. Uh, you know, the currency has depreciated yet to date by, you know, about 37%. And that is actually weighing on the cost of importation for importers of this particular product. And importers are left with no option but to, you know, transfer this cost burden to the consumers. And that is why we witnessed the spike in price of this particular commodity. And even as apart from that, We've also seen that um, following the policy of um, the exchange rate unification, um, the exchange rate used in computing the import duty has actually been revised upward. So from about 422 naira per dollar, it's now, uh, you know, about 783 naira per dollar. So that is, you know, an additional burden for importers. And that is increasing the cost of production in the cost of importation. And as a result of that, the increase in that cost is actually being filtered into the prices of um, the commodity but the irony of it all is that i mean recently the cbn actually um you know lifted the ban on 43 items uh you know from accessing foreign exchange and um sardine is actually one of those items but we've not really seen the impact of this reflecting because there is still that issue of forex supply shortage that is hindering you know these importers from getting the forex to actually access this commodity and even if they want to access this commodity you know our exchange rate our exchange rate is currently very weak and particularly the nera at the uh parallel market and that is you know influencing the prices of of this particular commodity. Uh, talking of things influencing the prices of sardines, we know that the demand for sardine is widely considered a joint demand. What I mean is it's not consumed as a standalone. You can't just buy sardines and just want to eat them from the can because, you know, you paired with, you could, for example, bread, yams, plantains, and rice. But looking at the other complements of this sardine, we, there's been a significant uptick in their prices. Uh, for instance, the cost of a loaf of bread now is sold to 1,300 naira. We're looking at that, and a 50 kg bag of rice has we also witnessed a substantial increase, 15% up. Now, now priced at 60,000. Uh, can you explain the concept of this joint demand and uh, why we're seeing this affecting sardines why are they tied together why can't we just separate them so that the prices of these complementary products do not affect the price of sardines uh, so theoretically um joint demand is actually a situation whereby two commodities are demanded to um, satisfy a particular need and then in other words they are like inter there's this interdependence between the two commodities so much so that uh the demand for one actually you know is directly linked to the demand for the other commodity so in this case we've seen that there is like some sort of um you know joint uh, relationship between uh the demand for for sardines and also the complement. 
uh, such as bread and yam. And this is because here in Nigeria, you know, sardine is not, you know, directly consumed, but paired with other complements, like you rightly said, you know, yams and bread. And we've seen significant spikes in uh, the prices of those particular complements, those particular staples. And that is expected to have, you know, an impact in the demand for sardines. Because if uh, the price of bread increases, it affects the demand for the commodity. And then um, sardine is being paired with bread. So if there's a reduction in demand for bread, it affects, you know, the demand for sardine. And do not forget that sardine prices are already rising. And then there is that, you know, demand reduction in demand because of the increase in price. So if all that jointly demanded um, um, staples or commodities are also witnessing increases in prices, it would ha add further pressure to um, the demand for sardines. Um, Victoria, I just, well, I'm at a loss right now because I want to speak for many Nigerians who are heartbroken that they can't eat the sardines. They so much love. But in this current inflationary environment and rising unemployment added to that, incomes are being squeezed and consumers are adjusting their spending priorities. Can you just tell us, can you tell you know, consumers out there what they should be doing, are there alternatives? Can they have hope to eat sardines again? Uh, so it is true that um, the environment is inflationary and then we have high level of unemployment and incomes are squeezed, you know, daily due to the rising prices of commodities and not just things but you know commodities in general and as a result of that we've seen like you know consumers trying to reprioritize their spending you know towards necessities or price inelastic commodities in order to just um you know leave basically because you know prices are are on the rise basically so in in that regard we've seen like most of these consumers actually looking what's and in order to meet up with their dietary needs they decided to um, look at other substitutes you know we have the likes of herring fish which is known as um uh, this um shower fish and then there is the horse mackerel also known as the kote fish people are looking towards you know frozen fish uh, and that is because okay in terms of that regards we have um increase in quantity like the quantity of the fish that is being bought that is the frozen fish is actually you know way higher than you know a can of sardines so why uh you know spend on a can of sardines to get just two fishes with oil in it and instead of you know going straight to a frozen fish where i can get like you know different pieces of fish and then um, different parts of the fish to enjoy so we've seen you know consumers trying to you know look towards that angle in order to um cut down their living expenses and also you know get the best of um, the economic situation and then it's actually not so good for these industries that produce you know sardines because um you know low consumer demand would actually weigh on their profitability mm. and could threaten their mm. existence in that particular market mm. and we've seen that the um, most of these selling companies are now taking proactive steps to okay. actually, you know, encourage the demand for their products. Okay. I mean, I, I can't remember the last time I saw um, an advert on selling, but recently we've been seeing, you know, selling adverts to encourage consumers to mm. consume that particular product. Mm. So I think um, um, the producers or the manufacturers are actually having it um, tough as well as the consumers. Mm. And everybody's trying to divert um, means to actually, you know, remain in place. Okay, Victoria, I don't know if that ad, well, I wish them luck with that because if you look behind me, you'll see that, you know, number of fishes in that can. But that's what we used to have before. But now when you open it, just two... <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Victoria Momo, analyst with financial directives for breaking it down for us. Thank you. Thank you for having me.